The message I'm about to share is going to be part of a short series of several videos. The reason being that there is tremendous amount of information and trying to make it into one video, it will be simply not possible. So I'm going to ask you to be patient because I will be posting these videos probably one a day or something along those lines. But be patient because the information is truly important and certainly uplifting and in my opinion, very encouraging. I wanna thank everybody for your prayers and for your support. Every message count, every blessing counts, every prayer counts and the love share amongst all of you and with me is truly appreciated and certainly very encouraging. While I do not have the time to either read all the messages and certainly not to respond to all the messages, I do my absolute best effort to go through them. And of course, if there's something that I see it's urgent, I'll do my best effort to respond right away. What I want to say, however, is do not stop to pray and to continue to support each other. At this moment, what really matters is to show the love for one another. This is the best way we have to be waiting for the Lord. And of course, with everything else we're doing here and on other channels. As always, the authority is scripture, the word of God, not me, not another man, not another woman. I am simply here to point you back to scripture to take every single word you hear here or anywhere else and go to your Bible, to the Word of God, and ask the Holy Spirit to reveal it to you and to explain it to you. Sometimes I simply tell the Holy Spirit or ask the Holy Spirit rather, please, Holy Spirit, explain it to me. And then I'll wait for the answers, confirmations, and or explanations. Sometimes it's right away, sometimes it takes days, and other times it takes months. Because the current focus of this channel is the end times and the times to come, and this is because the Lord has put me on this mission, and I'm simply being obedient to Him and not here for my own merit, I want to share with you a word of caution and wisdom that I've learned. And that is that world events, scripture, and revelation must be all in unison meaning they all must match and however we're going to need all three to get a better understanding of where we're going that is to say scripture alone will not be able to reveal the full picture because the lord designed us so that certain events like 1948 would have been impossible to know unless the event happened and certain words as you can see here that I received are sometimes images of characters or people that unless we know them and begin to do research, we won't understand how they fit into prophecy. So I say this because we can only see dimly and we only prophesy in part, which means that we're constantly adapting, we're constantly evolving, and we're constantly understanding more and more as we get closer to the day of the Lord. I hope you heard this introduction as uplifting and certainly as a key to follow and read the next following messages. I won't be long, but these things really matter to me, which is prayer and support for each other, understanding that this is a process of understanding for everybody, including myself, and the knowing that we're here to give glory to the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth and not on our own terms. The message I receive is the message that I've used and the Holy Spirit led me to use to create this mini series. There's a lot of pieces and parts. So I'm going to encourage you to pause the video and take some notes as you go so that you will much better understand what we talk about once we get to the explanation and the chart. The message I received on January 9, 2023 at 11 55 PM. The message says, endure, son, persevere, for time is almost out, and no more, in parentheses, sorrow, nor pain for those who diligently seek me. For the time has come of my departure and, in parentheses, your arrival. Paolo Rossi is a soccer player in his prime, and I see a vision of him. Fear not, son, for it is I, 
and nothing can separate me from you. Fear not, for the time has come. Write, son, that I sent the eagles to your abode, a sign from heaven of your, in parentheses, prompt departure. And I'll make a note here to say that about a week ago, I saw approximately 10 very large eagles sitting on a antenna post directly across from my house. Fear not, I hold you in the palm of my hand. Now I see a vision of a very young Kirk Cameron, 15 or 16 years old, from a well-known TV series. Then I see an old wooden door cracked open in an old country home in America, maybe. Then the Lord says, Fear not, son. The time has come and all revelations are coming to an end. With my return imminent, time is no more. Fear not, you're with me and I guide you in all things. Then I see a vision of gray boulder rocks close to a river by a forest. Then I see an 1800s looking black in black dressed lady in her 30s with a white bonnet and I see Pope Francis in white in a white garment and then I see an old pirate from Pirate of the Caribbean style with an evil grim and I know is Geoffrey Rush. Then I see Huckleberry Finn in shoeless by the river in a scene. Immediately after I see a Dutch peasant woman also with a white bonnet and a blue skirt in the early 1800s. Then I see pink flamingos and I think it could be either India or Persia. Right son, says the Lord, that time is no more. One more strike, then I come. In the clouds of glory with my angels. I love you, son, Lord, Yeshua, Abba, Holy Spirit. Amen. Immediately after I heard the message, I actually saw a few more visions, which I'm showing right here so you can see how they look like. The first is an American woman again from probably the 1800s and you see the description she has a white bonnet with a red band black hair a blue top and white shirt i then see what i recognize as vaguely reminds me of benjamin franklin with his hands behind his back dressed in black certainly an american and then lastly i see what looks like mozart with his hands also behind his back and a gold vest, black shoes, white socks, and pink looking pants. So in the next video, I'm going to show you the chart. I'm going to start walking you through the chart. I'm going to ask you to take notes and go through the entire series. I'm doing my best effort. It's taking a long time. As you can see, there's a lot of information. But what really comes out of this series is a possible window where the rapture will likely occur. This is with great discernment that I'm saying this to say that the Lord is beginning to show more clearly a time period where I begin to see the possibility of the rapture occurring. Now, this is not to say that I do the, know the day and the hour, but it is to say that I believe the Lord is going to increase the signs and the clarity as we get closer and closer. And that time is very, very close. So in order to make this possible, I'm breaking it down into smaller videos. I'm going to ask you to follow again through the videos and be patient. Instead of editing all of them and posting them all at once, which will take uh, much longer, I am decided to post the few videos already and then wait for the next. So I'm going to ask you to go ahead, go to the next video and God may protect you 
and bless you. Amen.